What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a follow-up from my original Camino Finance video. As we have a functioning point system now and we know more about how it works, I'm able to share with you exactly how I am personally utilizing features to boost my point eligibility. So first off, this strategy requires a higher tolerance for risk and regular monitoring of your position, especially with market fluctuations. So if you'd rather play it safe and stick to the strategy in my original video, you'll still be earning points and be eligible for an airdrop. However, for those aiming to maximize their points and are comfortable with a higher risk, this could be an ideal approach for you. Of course, no financial advice and please do your own research. So my current strategy in this particular wallet is earning me about 11,000 points daily, boosted by a 3.5x multiplier. This method doesn't involve utilizing the multiplier or leverage features on Camino, which can be used to further boost your points, but personally, the risks associated with these products currently exceed my comfort zone. So in this guide, I'll focus on optimizing points through borrowing, lending, and liquidity features. I have multiple wallets farming this airdrop, and in this particular wallet, I'm using 20 Solana. However, in this video, I'm going to be using a fresh wallet with just five Solana for demonstration purposes. So please be aware that with five Solana, you're not going to be making 11,000 plus points per day. The purpose of this video is to show you guys exactly how to achieve that maximum 3.5 boost, the highest boost currently available on Camino, without massively overexposing yourself. The process itself is super simple. I have just over five Solana in this wallet. Firstly, we're going to lend our soul out. Then we are going to borrow 250 USDT against this, leaving us a little bit of wiggle room. We don't want to totally max out our borrowing limit here. Next, we are going to head over to liquidity at the top menu and add our USDT to the USDC USDT liquidity pool. And that's it, you're done. Now be aware that this setup is based on the idea that Solana is going to increase in value. If the market price of Sol drops significantly, it can result in your position being liquidated, which is why it's so important that you monitor your position regularly and make changes if and when the market shifts. If you want to quote unquote bet against the price of Sol going down, you could lend USDT and borrow Sol, essentially the reverse process of what we just did. Personally, I remain bullish on Solana, so this is the strategy that I am employing. Now you may need to wait a little while before your points show up, they won't be displayed immediately as they are tracked on chain and they can take some time to accurately reflect, but rest assured you're already accruing points and achieving the max boost with this strategy. For those just here for the strategy, you can end the video now. If you're interested in why this strategy results in the max boost and understanding a little bit more about the point system, then stay with me. So here's a quick breakdown of why this works. So the default rate on Camino is one point per dollar daily used to lend, borrow or supply liquidity. However, certain assets provide a boost. For example, if you supply one of the following assets, SOL, USDC, USDT, USDH, you get three times as many points per dollar. Then for borrowing, you get five points per dollar per day for the same assets. Now you might be thinking, why don't I just supply SOL and borrow SOL? That way I have no risk of getting liquidated or the same for the other stable coins. Camino has put in place a mechanism that prevents people from farming with stable coins, matching assets, liquid staking tokens like BSOL or MSOL, and it prevents them from getting a points boost, and not only that, they actually deduct points. So to briefly summarize how this works, let's say for example you provide MSOL and borrow BSOL, which is very similar to what we did in the original video. Supplying $1,000 worth of MSOL would earn you 1,000 points a day, and borrowing $300 worth of BSOL would earn you 300 points a day. But with the farming limitation, which is essentially lend points minus borrow points, you would end up with a net of only 700 points per day. So in my opinion, assuming you can tolerate some risk and are willing to monitor your position regularly, supplying SOL and borrowing a stable against it seems to be the very best way to get that 3.5x boost. Now, as I've mentioned, there are definitely ways to earn more points for those who want to take on more risk, especially with the multiply and leverage features. And that's something that you can explore at your own discretion. But for me, this is enough. To summarize exactly what we are earning here, we are earning three points for every dollar worth of SOL supplied, five points for every dollar worth of USDT supplied, and one point for every dollar worth of USDT we have supplied in the USDC USDT liquidity pool.
Now the price of sol fluctuates and by extension so will the number of points you earn on the lending side. You can keep track of your points up here as well as in your portfolio. We are currently making just under 3000 points per day here with this strategy and we have our 3.5x multiplier. The very last thing I want to cover is the token in your wallet that you receive after providing liquidity into one of the vaults on Camino. I noticed quite a lot of confusion around this over in the Camino Finance Discord, so I just wanted to clarify briefly. Please don't lose this token and please don't burn this token. This token is essentially your receipt for providing liquidity and you'll need it when you want to withdraw these funds. So that's everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully this has helped some of you. If so, please leave a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content like this. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.